Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've made it out to Dover Court, to the lighthouse that's here on the seafront uh, that's been photographed many, many times before. But today's shoot is slightly different because what I wanted to actually do, as I've done a bit of research around this location, is actually show that there's more to shoot here than just the lighthouse. But that said, I'm still gonna get a shot of it anyway. So let's have a look at what I come up with today. So the first composition that I'm working on of the iconic light using the leading line of these groins. Now I've got the camera and had it in landscape orientation and also vertical orientation, taking pretty much the same composition but obviously both orientations just to pick out which of the best I'm gonna prefer come back to uh, post-production. But um, really liking the sort of leading lines of these groins and the lovely sort of patterns that the waves that are gently crashing against the shoreline and then receding and creating that lovely sort of light and reflected light of obviously this overcast day that we've got today. But um, really nice and calm and uh, what a fantastic location to come and shoot. So the settings for the camera that I've got on that one is F11, ISO 100, 18 mil on the lens and approximately 125th of a second as my base image but exposing one stop either side as well just so I've got obviously that dynamic range to play around with in post-production but uh, yeah this is really really enjoyable. I think as well what I'm going to look at doing today for this particular shot as well because obviously I've got the movement in the water is put on the uh, 10 stop filter and do one of these long exposures to create sort of more of an ethereal and minimalistic image which is what I wanted to, to capture today. And with the Hoyer 10 stop filter on now it's allowing me to extend the shutter speed to 10 seconds and that's smoothing out the water really really nicely. So again, obviously keeping the camera on 18mm f11 ISO 100 and as I say that 10 second shutter speed, it's uh, really, really sort of smoothing out that water, making that sort of minimalistic images which I wanted to capture of this particular composition. Now I know that it's been captured many, many times before and by local photographers and photographers from around the country as well that come to this location, particularly for this sort of iconic lighthouse. And it's really interesting and really well worth the visit here. I'm liking this composition as well because I was here about a year or so ago, maybe a little bit longer, and I was a bit further down the beach behind you and I didn't necessarily feel that I got the best out of this location. Hence obviously why I wanted to return. And uh, yeah, a long time to wait until I've returned here, but this was the opportunity that I had to come. And the reason why I like this composition over the one that I got further down the beach is the shape of the legs of the actual uh, lighthouse. Obviously the four legs that it's got, two of the legs which are now in the middle of the composition have got a V shape to it and also it's making it more interesting I feel. And because of that, with lining up with the groins, it just makes it that little bit more pleasing to my eye when I'm obviously looking at this composition. Now, the sky itself today is very overcast, but oh, we've obviously got the highlight of the sun behind it, breaking through the patches of the cloud. And because of that as well, what I'm really thinking, that these images today are gonna actually really work nicely in black and white of this composition. You've got the black and the white of the actual lighthouse, the sea smoothed out as well, and obviously then the, the detail and texture that you can really bring out in black and white photography of the clouds will hopefully make it that little bit more interesting. But I'm really loving it here, and I wish that I would have come back a lot sooner, but uh, 
that's what it is but I've enjoyed it coming here so far today So I'm really liking that long exposure, zoom straight in there on the actual lighthouse. And making sure that that's the main sort of point that I'm actually focusing on, on the back of the camera, using obviously the smooth zone autofocus as I normally do, because I find that's really sharp enough for the actual compositions. Taking that um, again on F11 ISO 100 and about 13 seconds as the base image, again do, doing that one stop either side bracket and about give or take 70-ish mil on the lens, obviously post all the details about the images in the description below. But that's done, and as I said in the beginning in the intro, I don't want to just necessarily focus on this lighthouse itself today. There's a lot more to shoot in Dovercourt. No one really does that that much. So let's have a look at what else I come up with today. <laughs> 